In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the front screen on the Samsung A35. I believe the model number is A356, although it doesn't tell you on the bottom, that's what it is. You can see there's a little bit of damage just to the bottom of the screen here, which has rendered it absolutely useless. The back covers on these phones are made out of plastic, so all you need to do is take the suction cup and you're going to stick it on the back of the phone and begin lifting just like that. You may need a little bit of isopropyl alcohol just to help you along, but once you've lifted it up a little bit, you will almost definitely be able to get one of these plastic guitar picks in there and just start running it around the edge like this. It comes off very, very easily on this model. Use the alcohol again just to get any stubborn bits out of the way and then open it up whichever way is easiest. Remove that back cover and store it safely for reinstallation later. And then we'll begin with the top of this phone, removing the plastic shield that protects the logic board and cameras on this one. This is held down by several crosshead screws, so just take your crosshead screwdriver. Some of them will stick to the magnet on my driver, some of them won't. And that's just the way with Samsung's, so just be prepared because any what are left behind will pull them out with the tweezers. I didn't take the time to count however, how many there are on this one, but there's about eight or nine, I think, maybe 10. Don't worry about mixing up these screws because they're all the same size, but just be careful when you're pinging them out with the tweezers because sometimes they are a bit springy and tend to fly away. Once all those screws are removed, you might notice there's a couple of arrows on the plastic here. There's one there and there's one there. That's always a good place to pry up this back cover using the tweezers again, get that out of the way. Now that we're into the motherboard, we can disconnect power from the device by using a plastic spudger to isolate the battery and then use your crosshead screwdriver again to remove the single black crosshead screw from just next to the cameras there. On these Samsung models, I always leave these attached as well as this one, because we'll take the main board and the sub board out together, making it a little bit easier. Before we do that though, we do need to remove the SIM tray. So go ahead and get that out of the way now. And that will release the motherboard. Although I'll take this camera out as well for the front camera and we'll store that with our screws over there. That should allow the motherboard to be freed now, but we'll leave it in there whilst we disassemble the subboard. There's eight screws holding down this subboard here. These are the same size as the ones that we removed from the top of the phone. So again, don't worry about mixing these up. Just make sure that you keep hold of them all ready for reinstalling them into the new screen or chassis, depending on what you call it. Let's use the tweezers again to ping out any of the ones that are stuck behind. And then we're looking for one of those little marks again, which we can see there is one here, which is our prying point. Now I'm just going to go in here and pry upwards with our tweezers to release the speaker cover. There's another crosshead screw just by the vibration motor here. Go ahead and remove that and store that for later too. And then the only flex cable that we're going to detach down here is the one that attaches to the back of the screen, just there. With that disconnected, we're just going to pry out the fingerprint sensor, just so that it's loose. I'm not going to disconnect it. I just want it to move freely when I remove the subboard. So I use the tweezers for that, and then I'll use the plastic prying tool to lift up this subboard and pull it out of the way, just like that. This means that we can now remove the main board as well as the subboard all in one piece, because this is going to go into our new part, which I'll show you in a minute. Before we start reinstalling everything into the new chassis, I'm going to add some isopropyl alcohol around all the edges of the battery. And then we're going to very carefully peel up this blue plastic film. And that's going to allow us to pull this battery out of the chassis. That was really easy to do that one. And quite satisfying. So with that out of the way, we'll let the alcohol dry out and I'll catalyze it a little bit with a clean room wipe. And now we'll get our new part, which is a genuine Samsung service pack, looking something like this. And we can see that it's got the frame attached to it. It's got the buttons already attached to it. We've got the ear speaker up the top there. We've got the loudspeaker down the bottom. 
but we don't have the vibration motor. So we'll just go back to our old chassis. I'm gonna add a little drop of isopropyl around that. You can use a heat gun or hairdryer to achieve the same effect. Um, and then I'm gonna go just under here with my tweezers, just to help me get that out of the way. So we're gonna, that'll be the first thing that we take from our old chassis and pop straight into our new one. Check that there's some adhesive on the back, which there is. And then I'll also pull this little blue film out of the way, drop that into place here. And now we'll move forwards with the installation of the battery now. Let's go straight ahead with dropping our battery into place, making sure that it's stuck down well. And then I'm gonna fold over the display cable making sure that that's stuck down well as well. We can use our tweezers to pull up this little film for the fingerprint sensor. Don't forget to do this. And then we'll go ahead with lining up and installing the subboard first of all. Make sure that that fingerprint sensor goes into place. This cable connected, and then the cables, the red one went on the top and the blue one underneath. And that was held down by one single black crosshead screw just here. Now that that's all nailed down, we're going to go with the plastic cover and re-secure those eight screws that held it in place. Once this is all pinned down, then we'll move up to the top again. I really like how simple these Samsung repairs are. It kind of reminds me of like a Meccano set or like a Lego set. They're just super, super easy. Now we'll move up to the top and we're just going to make sure that there's no plastic films in front of the camera. Then we're just going to make sure there's no plastic films in front of the camera there. And then we can fold over our main board, making sure that it sits nice and flat and that it fits properly. Just make sure that the blue cable sits at the bottom of this little channel. That's what it is. And then the red cable sits on top of it. I'm just pushing that down with the plastic spudger and then the last thing to go on this top area is the front camera. I connect it at the FPC first, then push it down into its little slot. There was one little black crosshead screw that held the board in place just here. That means that we can now reconnect the battery. And this would be a good time to test that your new part works. Although for the sake of the video, I'm gonna move on and carry on reassembling the phones with this plastic cover up the top now. Make sure that that pushes down all around, although the screws will likely pull it down a little bit easier. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall all those screws that we took out at the start of the video. Don't forget, if you like this kind of content, make sure that you subscribe. I release two of these repair videos every week and we're working on building a library of every single repair that you can think of until I get bored <laughs> or run out of ideas. And if you're trying this repair yourself, make sure you leave me a comment below and I, I wanna know how you got on with it, if the instructions were clear, etc. And then if you wanna support the channel, this is my final ask. This is a biggie. You can buy me a coffee using the link below. It just helps the channel to grow and keep making quality content. But like I said, just make sure that everything's pushed down now that all those screws are in, but this is looking good, man. This is looking good. All that's left to do is to reinstall our back cover. We'll plonk that down, push down on all the edges. And when we turn it over, press the power button, which I couldn't find. And we should have a Samsung logo. Galaxy secured by Canox. Job is done. That's looking pretty good. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.